Hi there, in my last video I showed you how to create a post slider. Today I am going to explain to you how you can create a WooCommerce product carousel. So let's get started. Make sure that WordPress Carousel Pro plugin is installed in your WordPress site along with the WooCommerce plugin. You can directly click Add New or click WP Carousel Pro and then click Add New to create a product carousel. First give it a title and then select source type as WooProduct. Ensure you have enough products to display in the carousel. You can filter the products by latest, category and specific. Select latest to display all the products in the carousel. Select category to display products from your chosen categories. And select specific filter to choose your desired product to be displayed in the carousel. So let's have a look at the live preview if the chosen products are showing or not. So click show preview. And here you go, the chosen products are showing right here. You can display your products in three different modes, standard, ticker and center. So you have already seen the standard mode carousel. So let's see how the ticker mode carousel looks like. So this is the ticker mode carousel is showing in the live preview. And similarly select center and update the preview to see the center mode carousel in the live preview. Order the products with the following options and if you want you can change the column value as you like. Go to the style settings to get more attractive features. Here you can set the content position from bottom, top, right, left or overlay. So you have already seen the bottom content position. So let me give you an example of the overlay content position. So select overlay. When you select overlay, you will find a few other related settings like overlay content visibility, always or on hover. You can change the overlay background color as well. And there are a few product related informations you can configure like you can show height, product name, product price, product description, read more, product rating, rating colors, add to cut button and its color related properties. You can also set the product name and product description word limit from here. So let's hide the product description from here. And now if I update the preview, you can see it is showing like this. The font color is showing as gray. So let's change the font color and set the carousel mode to standard. To change the font color, go to the typography and here you will find all the informations to change the font related properties. So let's change the product name font color to white and hover color to blue and product price font color to white. So now if I update the preview, you can see this is how it looks. Configure the carousel control related properties from the carousel settings. Here you can change the autoplay, autoplay speed, pause on hover, infinite loop, carousel direction and more. You can configure the navigation and pagination related properties from here. So let's hide the navigation first. And you can see in the live preview the navigation is not showing. So now let's show the navigation and change the navigation position to top right and hide the pagination. And now if I update, you can see the pagination has gone. The navigation is showing at the top right corner of the carousel. So now let's publish the shortcode and copy the shortcode ID from the bottom of the page and go to a page where you want to display it. Insert the shortcode in a text code or shortcode block. Publish the page and view it. So as you can see, this is how it looks. You can also create a multi row carousel. So let me show you how you can do that. Go to the carousel settings. And here you will find an option for carousel row. So set the carousel row value to 2. And now if I update and reload the page, you can see this is how a multi row carousel looks like. If you want to change the product title font family, then go to the typography options again and change the product name font to Roboto and you can set the font size as well. So let's make it 20 and update the shortcode again, reload the page and you can see this is how it looks. You can configure almost everything for a carousel with the WP Carousel Pro plugin. I have only show you a few core features. Check the plugin documentation and demo videos to get more ideas. 
I hope you have got a clear idea of creating a WooCommerce product carousel. In the next video, I will come up with another feature of the plugin. So see you in the next video.